Hi. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a portrait distortion lines effect in Photoshop. So let's get started. First, open your image into Photoshop. Create a new solid color. Go to Filter menu, Render, and Clouds. Click on Convert to Small Object. Go to Filter menu, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Set Radius to 40 pixels and press OK. Save your project and set name to Displace. Now you can hide or delete the Clouds layer from Layers panel. Create a new solid color and set color to white. From Filter menu, click on Filter Gallery and convert to Small Object. Then, from Sketch Filters, choose Halftone Pattern. Set Size to 8 and Contrast to 50 and change Pattern Type to Circle. Apply Filter Gallery again and choose Halftone Pattern. But this time change pattern type to dot, size to 4, and contrast to 16. Go to Filter menu, Distort and click on Ripple. The amount is 100%, and size is medium. Press OK. Go to Filter menu again, Distort, and Displace. Set horizontal scale to 20, vertical scale to 20, and the rest of the settings are the same. Press OK. In the window that opens, select the same file that you originally saved. Click on the lock icon of background layer to unlock it. Drag this layer to the top, right click on the right side of the layer and click on convert to small object. Go to image menu, adjustments and click on black and white and press OK. Choose filter blur gallery field blur. A field blur pin is placed on the image. Click the image to add additional blur pins. Click a pin to select it, and do one of the following, drag the blur handle to increase or decrease the blur. You can also use the blur tools panel to specify a blur value. Try to increase blur effect in a round of your image. Choose image auto contrast. Add a Curves Adjustment layer by clicking on the Adjustments icon in your Layers panel. Clip it to below. Make darker your image. Press Ctrl and I to invert the mask. Grab the Brush tool from Tools panel. Make sure the foreground color is white. Paint on a round of your image to apply Curves effect to this areas. In this image I want to show just the head. For this reason, I create a black solid color to below of the image layer. I click on the image layer and create a mask. With the brush tool, I paint on the extra parts that I do not want to be showed. Click on the solid color layer, hold the shift key and click on the first layer to selecting all text layers. Then, right click on convert to small object. Set blend mode to hard light. Press Ctrl and shift and alt and E to merge all displayed layers to new layer. Convert it to small object. Choose Filter Blur Radial Blur. Change Blur Method to Spin and the amount to 10. Add Mask to this layer and paint on the areas that you don't want to apply this effect. You can decrease the opacity and flow and just click a few times on your image to do this with less intensity. Like last time, press Ctrl and Shift and Alt and E and convert it to small object. Choose Filter Blur Radial Blur. This time increase the amount to 100 and change Blur Method to Zoom. Set this layer to Lighten. Decrease the opacity to 70%. Press Ctrl and Shift and Alt and E and convert it to small object. Choose Filter Filter Gallery. From Distort, choose Diffuse Glow. In the Settings section, just increase the clear amount to 20. Choose Filter Gallery again and this time from Sketch, click on Halftone Pattern. Decrease the contrast to 7 and size to 6. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.
Please like the video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Wait for the next tutorials.